So here's all the uh, Tassimo um, coffee pods that I bought. I got four different kinds. I got the um, the caramel latte and the cappuccino because I love Costa Cappuccino, but I don't love the Costa Costa Cappuccino. And what else did I get? Uh, Kenko. Um, this is the one I tried last night and I compared it with the Instant. And um, what a difference. This is my new favorite coffee. So, um, oh yeah, and also got uh, gingerbread latte. That's the creamer for it. So these are the pods. And that's the creamer. So you just, you have to shake it up before you put it into the machine here. So I'm gonna be testing a couple of things today. Um, one, this new mug that I've got here, it's a thermal mug, uh, keeps the heat in, supposedly, I haven't tried it yet. And I'm gonna be putting a cappuccino in there. And this one, um, this is, a, I tried last night and it filled right up to the top. And in fact, the foam kind of was running over, kind of making a little bit of a mess. But um, I wanna try two experiments, get a nice looking cup out of that, and then see which one of these two stays warmer for longer. Hmm, I wonder which. It's also recommended that, you know, if you wanna keep your um, beverage at an optimal hot level or an optimal cold level, you should pre-chill or preheat the cup with hot or cold water. Put the lid on it. Taking my first sip of my, uh, my new coffee mug with a cappuccino. Here we go. It's strong. Doesn't have that quite, um... no, it's nice. I'm gonna take the Costa Caramel uh, Latte Creamer, give it a shake. Cause that's what it says, shake. As you can see, it's quite full. Move the end to creamer cartridge, place in Costa Latte. Getting away with it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Look. Uh, okay. Not quite the presentation you want. Oh, it's still dripping. <laughs> so there you have it a cappuccino and a latte. Um, as pretty as this looks, that's how you get it handed to you and then you know you're going to stir it up. I'm going to try the caramel latte without stirring and hopefully without spilling. Okay, so you do need to stir it because all you're getting is the coffee sitting at the tub and I'm spilling. Here we go down the hatch. Again, you can taste the um, the 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 creamer. Um, it's possible. It's nice. All right. So as you can see, latte finished. It was getting a bit cool towards the end. Cappuccino finished now, but uh, still a bit of heat in that. Now the funny thing is. Um, when I made the cappuccino, I put the creamer in first and then the coffee, and then I put it down, and then I got this, and then I stirred it just to mix the coffee in with the, the, car the, the caramel uh, creamer. When I tried them both, I thought, this one, the cappuccino, you can, you can really taste the coffee. You know why? 
because the coffee was sitting on top of the creamer and I never stirred it in. <laughs> this is my full body workout, which I made a couple of days ago. I'm going to read through it and um, quickly uh, describe uh, what each exercise is working. Okay, so the first superset is chest and back. We're going to be doing a flat bench with wide grip lat pull downs, um, incline dumbbell press superset with narrow grip row. The next superset is going to be legs and shoulders. I'm only doing one exercise per muscle group for the quads and the hams. Uh, because I haven't trained legs in a long time, uh, I'm going to be doing um, stiff-legged deadlifts, probably with a very light dumbbell weight. And I'm going to superset that with seated military press with the bar. Um, I'm going to be doing freestanding squats, that's for the quads and glutes, um, with just the body weight and I'm going to superset that with dumbbell lat raises. Next up, I'm going to do a bicep tricep superset. I'm going to be doing um, straight barbell curls with a straight bar tricep pushdowns. Uh, then the next superset is hammer curls with the dumbbells and V-bar pushdowns for the triceps. So, that's the full body workout. It's 12 exercises with over seven muscle groups. And what I'm looking to do is get through the workout as quick and efficiently as possible with minimal rest time. Workout's going pretty good so far. I managed to set to flat bench for 60 kilos. I've decided I'll go 70 next time. Lap pull down using 60 kilos. It uh, feels quite comfortable, you know, I, I push it towards the end there, 12 reps. Next up, I'm doing incline dumbbell press with the power blocks and seat to draw. Check this out. What? 20 pieces of checking for $5.99. And if you go for the meal, you get um, a, a side, which I, of course, chose cold slaw, but more importantly, I got a bottle of Pepsi Max, so that should see me through the day. What I need to do is create a crumb catcher and also a place to put my wings. So what I'm gonna do is open the bag up to here, all right? So I've got a nice little catcher here. I've also got a place to drop the wings. Watching a person eat wings isn't going to be the best time. But the person eating the wings is having the best time. So that's worked quite well. Oh, I think I've been beat halfway through that wing and I've got another two in the bucket to go. I can do this. I don't feel good. Oh, geez. But let me show you the success of the catcher bib. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I had too much checking. I think I've, I've got a headache. <laughs> I don't really, but I don't feel 100%. Um, I'm not sure if it's because I'm a little rough, or it could be the workout, it could be the lack of sleep, or it could be the 20 pieces of chicken I just ate. I think the wings might be going back into this bucket at some point today. Oh God, oh. <laughs> It happened. <sighs> On the plus side, I feel much better. Uh. All right, so feeling much better now. Um, 
wasn't feeling that great uh, after the check-in. In fact, I don't think I was feeling that great all day. It was a drag to get up and uh, force myself through that workout. Um, but yeah, no, it's just a combination. I'm just trying to find, you know, I think I worked too long yesterday. Um, and so I worked out, worked for a long shift, and then um, I had a late night. And then I woke up just feeling just 100, not 100%, not totally rested. Went to work feeling probably 75% optimal. And then uh, I had that bucket of chicken and that was me, shut down. Um, did a few more deliveries. So I basically worked a total of four hours and then I came back to see the folks, sat down, had a coffee and I did not feel like getting back up. So I just uh, canceled the second shift, which is only three hours anyway, but I just canceled it and decided I would just go to bed. I went to bed for about an hour and a half and then woke up, had cauliflower and cheese. And now I'm gonna sit here with the folks and we're gonna have a few beers and watch a James Bond and just chill out the rest of the day. So, like I said, I'm still trying to find that balance, um, how long I can work and work out without burning out. So um, definitely the booze doesn't help, but I'll tackle that when the time's right. So. Anyway, hope everybody's having a good day. Better than mine. Blah. Anyway, catch it a bit. I think the lines might be going back into this bucket at some point today. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh.